Hello dear students, welcome to a new session. In this session we'll be having the final revision of algebra. So I'm sure that you all understood the lessons very well, you all studied well, it's time to revise and to check our understanding. So please in the revision session, once you see the questions, pause the video, try to answer the questions yourself and then play the video again to check your answers. Question number one is to choose the correct answer. Number one, what is the multiplicative inverse of 3 over 4 all to the power of 2? We know that the multiplicative inverse, we flip the fraction or we flip the number, right? So for this one, the multiplicative inverse is 4 over 3 all to the power of 2. So the right answer here is choice A. Question two, what is one third of means times 3 to the power of 20. For sure you know that the 1 third is 3 power negative 1 times 3 power 20. Then when we multiply, if we have the same base, we add the powers. So negative 1 plus 20 is 3 to the power of 19. So the right answer in question 2 is choice B. Question 3, if 2x equals 12, what is 3x? If 2x equals 12, if you can solve this, if you divide by 2, divide by 2, then x equals 6. Take care, the question is not asking you to find x. The question is asking you to find 3x. So 3x is 3 multiplied by 6. So the right answer is 18. Question 4. If 0.0005 all to the power of 2 equals 25 times 10 for n, then what is the value of n? If you get the square of 0.0005, it will be 0.3 zeros, another 3 zeros, then 25. To write this in the scientific notation, it's 25 times here if the decimal is here we go left how many places one two three four five six seven eight so times 10 to the power of negative eight then the right answer here is choice c question five if x is equal to y then what is four over nine to the power of x minus y if you have any two numbers equal to each other, if you subtract them, like 5 equals to 5, right? If you subtract 5 minus 5, it's always 0. Two numbers equal to each other, their difference is always 0. So in this problem, the power is 0. So 4 over 9 to the power of 0 is always 1. So the right answer here is 1. Question 6, what's the additive inverse of negative 2 over 5 all to the power of 0? The negative 2 over 5 all to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Then what is the additive inverse of 1? It is negative 1. Question 7, what is the multiplicative inverse of square root of 4 over 25? Square root of 4 over 25 is equal to the square root of 4, which is 2, over the square root of 5. The multiplicative inverse is the flipping of this number, so it will be 5 over 2. Question 8, 3 to the power of 10, plus 3 to the power of 10, plus 3 to the power of 10. We're adding the number by itself for 3 times. This means that it's 3 times 3 to the power of 10. 3 power 1 times 3 to the power of 10 is 3 to the power of 11. So the right answer here is choice C. Question 9. If x plus 9 equals 11, then what is 7x? If we have x plus 9 equals 11, to solve this one, we move the line to the other side. So x equals 2. Then the question wants you to find 7x. So it's 7 times 2 
the result is 14. So for question 9, the right choice is choice D. For question 10, in the opposite figure, what is the measure of angle A? Here you know that x plus 2x is equal to 90 degrees. Then 3x is equal to 90. Automatically x equals 30. For angle A, it's 2x, so it's 2 times 30. Then the right answer for question 10 is 60 degrees. In question 11, the solution set of the inequality x greater than or equal to negative 2 and x is less than 2 in all integers z is what? As you can see here that the negative 2 is closed so it is included while the 2 is not included because it does not have here or equal to. Then the integers are from negative 2 all the way until before the 2. So it's from negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, but does not include the 2. So for question 11, the right choice is choice C. Let's now move to another type of questions. Question 2, the question wants me to simplify. How can we evaluate x power 3 times x power 4 over x power 5 if x has a value of negative 3? Let's first simplify this. It will be x to the power of 7 divided by x to the power of 5. Then when we divide, we subtract the powers. It's x power 2. After that, let's evaluate x by negative 3 to the power of 2. The result is 9. Question 3. If x equals negative half and y equals 3 over 4, how can we find the numerical value of x power 3 times y power 2? x power 3 times y power 2. If you substitute x by negative half to the power of 3 times 3 over 4 to the power of 2, the result will be negative 1 over 8 multiplied by 9 over 16. Then the final answer is negative 9 over 100. 28. Question 4. How can we find the result of this expression? Let's remember the order of operations together. We do what's inside the brackets first, and then we go to what's outside the bracket. And for those inside the bracket, we do the powers, then the multiplication and division, whatever comes first from left to right, then addition, subtraction, whatever comes first from left to right. After that, we do the same order for the terms outside or the operations outside the brackets. If we evaluate this, this will be negative 1 over 8 divided by 8 times negative 1 over 2 times 3 over 4. Let's do what's inside the brackets now negative 1 over 8 divided by, if you multiply 8 times negative half, that's a negative 4, times 3 over 4. So it would be negative 1 over 8 divided by, if you multiply negative 4 times 3 over 4, the result is negative 3. So it's negative 1 over 8 times negative 1 over 3. The final answer of this one is 1 over 24. Question 5. Find the result of this expression in the form of a times 10 to the power of n, where n is an integer. Take care, dear students, that the sign between the two brackets is plus, not multiply. So in this one, we have 5.4 multiplied by 10 power 4 is added to 3.7 multiplied by 10 power 5. If we have a plus between the two brackets, then the times 10 in both terms must be the same. So this one will be 37 times 10 to the power of 4. And this one remains as it is, 
5.4 times 10 power 4. Now I can easily go and add the 37 and the 5.4. It will be 42.4. Then the 10 power 4 remains as it is. To write this in the correct scientific notation format, it will be 4.24 times 10 to the power of 5. Then in this case, n is equal to 5. Question 6. The question wants me to simplify. As you can see in this one, all the bases are the same. So for the numerator, we're going to add the powers 3 plus negative 4. And also for the denominator, we're going to add the powers negative 2 plus 5. Then it's 2 power negative 1 over 2 to the power of 3. When we divide, we subtract the powers minus 1, minus 3. Then the result is 2 to the power of negative 4, which is 1 over 2 to the power of 4. That is 1 over 16. Let's now go to question 7, solving equations. 8x plus 4 equals 20. And remember that the solution must be an integer. Move the 4 to the other side as a minus 4. So 8x equals 20 minus 4, which is 16, divided by 8, divided by 8. Then x is equal to 2. Then the solution set is 2, as 2 is an integer. Question 8. Let's now solve an inequality. 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal 3x minus 1. Then if we move the x's to the left-hand side and the numbers to the right-hand side, it will be 2x minus 3x is greater than or equal negative 1 minus 3. So it's negative x greater than or equal to negative 4. And always remember that while solving an inequality, if you divide or multiply by a negative number, you must switch the inequality sign. So in this one, we're going to divide by negative 1. Yes, excellent. We must switch the inequality sign. So x will be less than or equal to positive 4. So in this case, the solution set is x where x belongs to q such that x less than or equal to 4. Let's now go to another type of questions, which is the word problem. The age of Ahmed equals 3 times the age of Hani. So, excellent students. A, which represents Ahmed's age now, is 3 times Hani's age. And the difference between their ages is equal to 10. For sure, Ahmed is the bigger number, so Ahmed minus Hani is equal to 10. How can we solve this equation? Excellent. We're going to replace the a by 3h. So 3h minus h equals 10. Then to solve this equation, 2h equals 10. So the age of Hani is 5 years old. How can I find the age of Ahmed? Excellent. We're going to multiply Hani's age by 3. So Ahmed's age is 15 years old. Find the age of each of them. We're going to write that Ahmed is 15 years old, while Hani is 5 years old. If x equals negative 3 over 2, and y is half, and z equals negative 4 over 3, how can we find the numerical value of x squared minus y z squared? Let's now solve question A together by replacing the x by negative 3 over 2 minus the y is half times the z is negative 4 over 3 all squared. We know that the even power eats the negative, so this is 9 over 4 minus 
half times, again, the even power eats the negative, 16 over 9. So it will be 9 over 4 minus the product of half times 16 over 9 divided by 2, it's 1 divided by 2, it's 8. So minus 8 over 9. If you subtract 9 over 4 minus 8 over 9, the result is 49 out of 36. For question B, solve the following inequality. So for question B, if you distribute 3 times x plus 2, it would be 3x plus 6 less than negative x plus 4. If you combine the x's together and the numbers together, it would be 3x plus x is less than 4 minus 6, then 4x is less than negative 2, so divided by 4 divided by 4, x is less than negative half. So for this problem, the solution set is x, where x belongs to q, such that x is less than negative half. By finishing this problem, we came to the end of our session. Thank you very much, dear students, and wishing you best of luck.